Welcome to another five minute guitar lesson. Uh, this is Adam Levy and I'm, I wanted to show you something. This is actually something I've been working on in my own practice time and I found it really valuable so I wanted to share it with you. It has to do with limitations. Um, on the guitar it's really easy to play a two octave position. You know if you're say playing this minor pentatonic scale you've gone across two octaves pretty quickly. That's one octave, that's another octave. And you could keep going without much uh, challenge. It's the, all the notes are right there. And that's great, but it's also having so many options can, in a way, inhibit creativity. I find that having limitations, contrary to what you might think, instead of limiting your creativity by having a, a musical limitation or physical limitation here, juices up creativity. So we're going to take away these, these big positions of scales and arpeggios and just pick one octave and see how much music we can make in one octave. So let, let's let's take a 12 bar blues in the key of C and um, if you're not sure what that looks like I'll, I'll play the chords and you can hear the music that's going on in my head. Three, four, two, that's a F7 and C7 here comes bar 5, F7. C7. There's bar 9, it's a G7. F7 and back to C7. So that's the progression, and we're going to play through that using just one octave. So let's say we'll pick G to G. And, you know, I'm in the fifth position on the guitar now. I may go up or down a little bit. It's not so much about a position limitation, a, you know, a geographic limitation as a musical limitation. So the rule is really just the lowest note we can play is G, this G, and the highest note we can play is this G. Now we're going to see what we can do as the chords change. So let's try that out. Two, three, four. So you could say, you might be thinking, well, what scales are we using? What arpeggios are we using? And I'm not really thinking of it that way. Those are good questions. But here, I'm just thinking of this as a fully chromatic space to move around in. So on the C7 chord, sure, we might want to play some chord tones. And these would be the F7 chord tones. These would be the G7 chord tones. And those are great notes to play. Those, those would be great notes to focus on. Um, but I'm not thinking strictly in that way, and neither am I thinking of just a C minor pentatonic, though you could think of that, or C major pentatonic. All of that is fair game. Uh, there's no... Uh, <laughs> This isn't about scale choices, it's just more about note choices within this 12 note chromatic reach that we have. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time let's go from C to C, okay? And that sounds like this. Two, three, four.
that's the uh, current. So the big idea here really is to try and be uh, more thoughtful about the notes rather than just going for things uh, because you happen to have practiced all the scale positions and arpeggios. It's, it's really thinking more like a singer would think. Um, you know, when you're making music from your, from your body, the, the difference between this note and this note it is a pretty big difference. On the guitar, there's not much to that. Um, but you want, or at least I want to, and maybe you do too, I want to feel that the octave is, is really a destination. It's not just a note that happens to be there because we have, you know, these fingers and it's there. But if that's all we have, then, then maybe you start to feel um, the space that's there, you know, the, the, the reach from one octave to, to the next and all the notes in between. So I hope you can experiment with this in your own way. If you're not into blues, you could apply this to, to pretty much any style of music. I just happen to be thinking about the blues. And of course, there's octaves all up and down the guitar. You could try this anywhere you want. So uh, good luck. Have fun. I said this to a student today. I said, the, if you have the guitar in your hands, uh, you should either be having the time of your life or be learning something or both. And if you can be doing both, then you've hit the jackpot. So hopefully you'll have some jackpot moments with this. Thanks for tuning in.